Alright, this is Nick and today I'm doing an aerial tutorial. Uh, there are two types of aerials. You've got the side-to-side -side aerials and you've got the gymnastics aerials. Side-to-side -side aerials are much more common in tricky and b-boying and the gymnastics aerials are obviously much more common in gymnastics. Here's the side-to-side -side aerial. Okay. Here's the gymnastics here. Alright. So there we go. Those are the bases. Alright. I learned the side to side aerial first. It's easier for me. So we're gonna break down the side to side aerial real fast with a clip of it. There you go. Alright, a bad side-to-side -side aerial should slightly resemble a butterfly kick because it's really difficult to get your legs completely vertical over your head when you're doing a side-to-side -side aerial uh, because it's a side-to-side -side aerial. Your feet start from this position, you're not running forward, so all your momentum's not going to go directly above your head like it would in a normal aerial. Alright, one more. Alright. It's all about swinging, right? You swing your torso down and torque your arms over while lifting up and jumping. This is a conscious jump to get over. And swinging this leg back as hard as you can. If you don't swing the leg back as hard as you can, you're not gonna make it over. Watch, one more slow-mo and you'll see what I mean. Here's a bad side to side because I'm not swinging hard enough. You don't make it all the way around. A good one, swing as hard as you can, back over with this leg, torque your arms, lift up this foot properly, and you'll make it. All right, now for a running aerial. Uh, in my opinion, the running aerial is harder. I learned it later. I tried it and tried it again, but I couldn't do it. After I learned the side to side, it came much easier for me. It's still actually a bit difficult. Um, another example of running aerials. Alright, All right, a normal car wheel is done like this. You're standing kind of facing forward. And you're like this, because people do them in a row. You see little kids, they go, One, uh, two, uh. All right, a gymnastics car wheel is different than that. You're coming forward. And landing, facing backwards. This is just how a gymnastics aerial works. You can't do one after another, because you pretty much land completely backwards. Like any other aerial tutorial is gonna tell you, Learn how to one-handed cartwheel before you try to aerial. Two-handed, one-handed, switch one-handed, just do it all and uh, master that. Alright, um, the gymnastics aerial is done with a running start. It's much more based off your forward momentum, carrying your legs over, than your side to side momentum as the side to side aerial is. Uh, it's like this. You're running, you jump, you stretch out, pull your limbs in, your legs get carried over. This is gymnastics aerial. Sketchily landed, I'm not feeling too good today, and to be honest, I'm not really that good at them yet, but here, um, as you see, arms come up here. Coming around, you pull in. Your legs are carried around, just like a normal cartwheel. Basically, your momentum is acting as your hands. Instead of your hands carrying you over, your momentum is. So, 
that's really how the move works. There's a bunch of specifics in Juji's tutorial. You should check that out too. This is just made for my friends and as my second tutorial just to work on some editing techniques. So feedback is good. Thanks everybody. Peace out.